Hey guys, you're with me, Kevin, your scuba professional, and today we're here to have a look at the Cressy Calibro and Corsica snorkel combo that we've got available on our site. This is a really great free dive and scuba pack that we've put together. First off, I see it comes in this really handy Cressy carry bag. It's got a little handle so you can just carry it down to the beach. So it's quite cool to, uh, for, for you guys to keep all your kit and also protect it from scratching, etc. But let's open it up to see what's going on inside. We've got a belt strap there, pop out the snorkel, then we're going to uh, pop out the mask itself. There's an interesting little piece of paper in here that we're going to get out too, which is quite relevant to the mask, and it says, Funk Stop. Going to get into that in a second, we're going to move this guy out the way. Let's start with the snorkel and then work our way back to the mask. So the Corsica snorkel is a really great free dive uh, snorkel, it's a very, very basic design but works perfectly for those guys that are going out spearfishing and uh, free diving can be used for standard snorkeling and scuba diving as well. It's quite a flexible design, you see you can just bend it up in on itself so you're not going to break it if you stand on it, which I think is great. It doesn't have any splash protectors in there, it's a very basic snorkel and it's got a standard J valve at the bottom over there with a really comfy soft uh, mouthpiece for you to bite onto. It does not have a drain valve. The free divers and Spiros do not like drain valves. They much prefer to be able to just blast clear the snorkel correctly and take a really big breath in and um, the snorkel is really really easy to clear anyway. And it's very easy to get in and out of your mouth when you are when you are beginning a free dive or uh, a spear if you're going to go down and catch something. From a uh, snorkeling and scuba point of view, it works just as well. You've got your standard little clip over here with a clip on the side of the mask. Just overall a really great, affordable and bulletproof snorkel. If you buy this, you're never going to have to buy another snorkel again because, as you see, you just can't break the guy. It's going to be with us forever. So we'll move that out the way. Mask, which I think is really great, is the new Calibro mask. It comes with Cressy's patented fog stop technology, which we're going to get into in a sec. First off, you'll see it's a very low volume mask, meaning that it's got quite small lenses and a very, very small frame. When I say low volume and small frame, it does not affect your vision in any way. In actual fact, you get to see a lot more because it sits so close to your face. So your field of vision is really, really clear and really, really big. And because it's low volume, meaning such a small skirt, it's very easy to clear. So if you're on a free dive down or you're, or you're going out spearing or even scuba diving or snorkeling and you get some water in your mask, one little poof, clear it's just going to get all the water out the way because it's such a low volume which i think is great the look of the mask itself you can see the calibra has the beginnings of the, the the traditional signature Cressy teardrop design, however, they cut it away at the bottom, so it doesn't go all the way down like the teardrop. They've just cut it uh, below the nose section over there. But once you've got it on, you really don't notice the fact that they've cut the mask higher up because it sits so close to your face. As far as the skirt's concerned, it's got quite a rigid nose pocket at the bottom, so the base of your nose is quite solid. However, they have an indent. There's a ridge over the top of the nose and two indents on the side of the nose, which make it super, super be easy for you to pinch and equalize your nose if you're free diving down or scuba diving very very easy to equalize that the skirt of the mask is ultra low volume so it's a very low volume over here so you see there's not much silicone there at all it is double sealed so on the inside there you can see there is a double seal section it's not a very big double seal it's quite a thin seal so you do need to make sure that you position the mask on your face correctly and just adjust those straps to make sure you're comfortable and then swim down but once you've got it positioned right, it's really 100%. Uh, top tip for me, as far as these double seals are concerned, it is very important not to tighten the mask too tight on your face because then what you do is you collapse the mask in on itself and that causes it to leak like crazy. On the inside of the mask, going to the main feature, is the fog stop technology. So if I just hold that up to the camera there, you can see on the inside of the nose pocket, there is another double skirt just over the bridge of your nose. And that separates your nose, the nasal pocket, from the ocular socket, from your eyes. So that means that any heat which is being radiated from your nose is not getting into the, the ocular socket, as well as when you breathe out for your nose and equalize, any of the air coming out of your nose is being directed away from the mask itself. So that stops the, the, the lens from fogging up. So when you're underwater, there is a very, very low chance of getting fog in the mask itself. However, at the surface, if you're staring at the sun, obviously water's evaporating in the mask, it'll fog up a bit. My experience with this unit was underwater, once you cleared it, it was clear for the rest of the dive. So I think the uh, fog stop technology is a really, really great addition to this Cressy Calibra mask. 
It does feel a bit strange, admittedly, the first time you put it on to have something touching down the side of your nose if you're not used to it. But within a few minutes, I didn't notice it anymore and it worked really well. From the rigidity of the mask itself, there is some grooves built into the side of there, some raised grooves on the inside, and that'll give the Calibra mask a lot more support. So if you're free diving down and you haven't equalized the mask, it'll stop the mask collapsing in on itself. So that works quite well to hold its shape as you dive down. The strap is on a pivot or hinge, so it makes it really easy for you to adjust where you'd like to put the strap, whether it be high up in the middle or quite low on your head. The ideal positioning obviously always over the crown of your head. With this hinge system, it does distribute the weight very, very evenly over your face and around the back, which is quite comfortable. It has a lift clip to loosen the, the strap, so you just lift it up and you can loosen it quite easily. And then to tighten it, you quite simply just give it a pull and that tightens it up quite well. And then your silicone strap at the back opens up. It's a standard, what they refer to as a 3D silicone strap. So it opens up over the crown of your head and fits really, really comfortably. So there is the review of the Cressy Calibro with Fog Stop technology and the Corsica Freedive Snorkel. So together as a combo, it's quite good looking. It comes in a range of different colors. This being black and blue so it almost disappears when you're underwater. I think it works really, really well. And you get this funky little handy carry bag with it as well. So there's that review. If you guys are enjoying these product reviews, please feel free to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Go over there and click subscribe and we'll keep you up to date with all these funky reviews we do. We've also got a load of social streams. Just give scuba.co to zero a search on Facebook or Instagram or any of the others and we're bound to come up and we'll keep you up to date with all the cool things that we've got going on. So that's it from me guys and I look forward to seeing you in the water really soon.